got two stoned again. All of this and more here on Stream On. Welcome to Stream On here on the Stream.tv. I am Brooke Berg Stoller here to deliver you the trendiest of trending news from across your favorite social meds, party people. So let's get it poppin'. All right, guys, we're going to start off with what's happening on Facebook today. Here's what y'all are talking about. The fact that Miley Cyrus once again got too stoned. Shocking. Shocking, of course. So on Sunday night, there was this Mark Twain American Humor Award Ceremony, which I've never heard of and want to be invited to. So this was in honor of Bill Murray this year. Miley Cyrus started singing a rendition of My Way, but then she started flubbing the lyrics. But she said, I fucked it up. I smoked too much and I forgot. And that's, she doesn't feel too bad about it, which makes her a friggin' boss, dudes. Miley, please hit me up. Let's hang out. Let's smoke something. Just kidding. That's almost legal in California, so I think I can say that. Jake, what are the people of Facebook saying? We had a lot of good comments today, for example, from uh, Emma Julia Macklin, Brooke Harper, Kong S. Hole, Michael DiMuccio. Uh, would like to point out this one from uh, Brooke Harper. Not our Brooke, but still, she's pretty great. Uh, she says, at least she was honest and didn't try and claim exhaustion. So we agree, at least she's being forthright. That's what you need in a pop star, you know? Uh, I totally agree. I also agree that this Brooke Harper must be an absolute stunner. Everyone with the name Brooke, right? <laughs> Someone love me. All right, next up, Apple iOS 10.1 update is out. It's happening, people, and we've got some new tricks for your iPhone 7. So this update has created a depth of field for the camera, which keeps the subject sharp while blurring out the background. That's how cameras work, you guys. So this feature used to only be available on DSLR cameras, which are like fancy real cameras, but we've also got on the iPhone image stabilization, a larger aperture, it can zoom in closer, blah, blah, blah. For all you nerds out there, I'm sure you're popping little geek boners, but uh, I've got a cracked iPhone 6 that I'm going to keep in my pocket for the rest of my life, you guys, so frick your iPhone 7. Well, prepare to have your heart warmed. Ah, Orlando Bloom is such a sweetheart. He rescued a stray dog in China while filming Smart Chase Fire in Earth, a new movie in Shanghai. So he came across this stray dog in the streets of China, and he, of course, recorded the entire scenario on his Instagram story because no deed should not be published on social media. He shared pictures of the dog who was sniffing at a very gross wound on his body. And he took the dog to the vet, he had him shaved and bathed, and it's unclear if Bloom plans to keep the dog, but I plan on keeping you, Bloom. <laughs> oh, God, you guys, this is so exciting. The holidays are here, and you know what that means? You want an X-rated Christmas? Well, it's 2016. We're going to make that happen for you. Finally, there's vagina-shaped Christmas ornaments. <laughs> they're created out of felt, and they're... Super, super lifelike, quite frankly. They're sold on Etsy by a company called Felt Melons, and they're handcrafted, stuffed with wool. And the shop on Etsy has a five-star rating. It also ships to Canada and comes in three sizes, just like the real thing. Jake, what do the people at Facebook have to say about these X-rated Xmas tree ornaments? Well, we got a lot of Brits commenting on this one. For example, we got Tanya Kirby, Jax Jax, Edel Murphy. Uh, but I would like to highlight this one comment from a man named Paul Jackson who says, hang a load of cunts from a tree? Great idea. Let's start with the Tory party. To all you Americans watching, translate that as the Republican Party, and you'll be pretty much on the same page. Ah, uh, thank you for being our translator, Jake, because I would have had no idea what the hell you were saying. Well, here's something I don't know what the hell is happening with Taylor Swift. Ugh. She's celebrating her 10-year anniversary of her first album release. So she's, you know, celebrating the fact that she's finally become a friggin' billionaire. So in October of 2006, Taylor Swift released her first album, Taylor Swift. And as of August 2016, that album has sold over 7.75 million copies worldwide. Whoa, that's incredible. Well, you guys, thanks for uh, checking out what's happening in Facebook. That's all I have for you. But head on over to our Facebook page, at the Stream TV. you guys and I love what's happening on Twitter today all right so the closer music video has hit the streets and by that I mean YouTube um, and we've got our first
this tweet from our tweeter saying, remember 11 from Stranger Things? Well, that's her now. Feel old yet? Hashtag closer music video. That's not actually 11. And then our next tweeter said, Halsey is such a queen, OMG. She's like an overnight pop star. I love this chick and she's super edgy and fierce. So I'm a big fan. What are you guys thinking of this music video? Check it out on YouTube. Tweet at us at the Stream TV. Tell me what up. Our next trending tag is hashtag if I was a grown up. Our first tweeter said, if I was a grown up, I'd use the word were instead. <laughs> I love a good grammar Nazi. And next up, if I was a grown up, I'd stop posting bathroom selfies. Ah, well, if that's what it means to be a grown-up, then I don't want to do it. Finally, we've got hashtag Halloween party to-do list. Halloween is upon us, you guys. Our first tweet says, number one for my Halloween party to-do list. Tweet about a Halloween party to-do list and done. And next up, we have Halloween party to-do list. Your mom. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> yes, I love that dude. Yes, but please don't have sex with my mother. Last tweet for you today is hashtag makes me hungry in four words. Our first pick, oh geez, this is gonna make me sick. Fresh Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Make me hungry in four words. Oh goodness, compliments of Red Lobster. And then we've got Pizza Hut saying, or Domino's rather, ooh, they would not like that. Make me hungry in four words. Piping hot cheese pizza. I could go for some of that right now. Could you guys? Well, let us know on Twitter, give us a little Follow a little tweet, a little tag at the Stream TV. <laughs> yeah, it's time for Instagram. Have you guys seen the account at Betches? <laughs> I've been following them for years. These girls, whoever they are, are absolutely hysterical, and they are definitely worth checking out. So the first. Instagram that I want to share with you guys is Barack Obama, then and now, waiting for the bartender to notice me like, uh, now I have gray hairs because my country is falling apart. <laughs> and next up, A++ dad at Disneyland rocking a mermaid tail with his only a father can have butt out. I love that. Look at that dad butt. <laughs> and then finally, finally, live every day like you just found out you're not pregnant. I know I do. It's a pizza baby, not a real baby. You know what that means? More pizza. That's exactly what it should mean. Well, that's all I have for you guys for Instagram. Give us a follow at the Stream TV. Find out some behind the scenes pics, see what's happening. But for now, I'm going to toss it on over to Jocelyn Cruz, today's music correspondent, who's going to tell us what's happening in the land of music. Jossie, what up? Awesome. Thank you, Brookie B. Um, oof, where do I begin? Kanye is probably a great place to start. Uh, is he gra boycotting the Grammys? It appears so because Frank Ocean did not get nominated um, at a concert this past Saturday in Oakland. Kanye spoke his mind, as he's very good at, and he said, I'll tell you this right now. If this album is not nominated in no categories, I'm not showing up to the Grammys. As artists, we got to stick together and fight the bullsh... Um... <laughs> Is Kanye running for president still? Because I would much rather vote for him than Trump or Hillary. Uh, okay, moving on, let's go to some good news. Researchers at the University of British Columbia found that people who normally exercise moderately are more enthusiastic about it if they work out to music. Cool, so what can we work out to? Well, a great place to start would be the Closer song by the Chainsmokers, as Brooke told us. They just released their video today. Um, they're number five on the Hot 100 dance track list and number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the 10th week in a row, so they are are tying for the longest running number one song of this year. Um, Drake held the title for 10 weeks in May through July. And speaking of Drake, it turns out he's a bit of a friggin' rascal, guys. He released what seems to be a diss track about Kid Cudi and Pusha T called Two Birds, One Stone, in which he says, you stay zanned and perked up, so when reality hit, you don't gotta face it. Most people are taking this as Drake making light of Cuddy's bouts with depression and substance abuse. Cuddy recently released um, a statement on Facebook after he checked himself into rehab. He said, I am not at peace. I haven't been since you've known me. If I didn't come here, I would have done something to myself. So it's clear that Cuddy's dealing with some real demons here. So did Drake go too far? Let us know in the comments below. And I'd love to commend Cuddy for stepping out and talking about mental health, something this, this country needs to talk about. And that's all I got for you guys for music today. Oh, thank you so much, Joe.
Jocelyn and don't nobody pick on my kid Cuddy, okay? I love him probably more than I love Drake. And yes, please let us know, who do you prefer? Let's have a battle, let's duke it out. Let's see who can get more support. It's probably gonna be Drake, sorry Cuddy. Well, thank you so much, Jossie J, but let's check out what's happening on YouTube. Aha, uh -huh. breaking BuzzFeed news. Leave it to BuzzFeed to uh, just churn out a ton of food videos. And yesterday's, I'm sorry, today's food video of choice was about pumpkin spice lattes available from your favorite coffee shops, literally every coffee shop in America. This was just a basic bomb. The studies were inconclusive, but a bunch of BuzzFeed's peeps tried pumpkin spice lattes from different places, and basically everyone had their own opinion, but I'd say no one makes it better than my mom. <laughs> Next up on Tubular, guys, in Spain, there's a zip line called Limite Zero, and it's the only cross-border zip wire in the world that lands you in Portugal. It's an hour-long ride, holy Moses. So YouTuber Tom Scott did the deed, and it looks magical. Have you guys ever been on this zip line? I know where I'm going, España. And where else would I love to go? Uh, Paris, you guys, the Victoria's Secret fashion show is headed to Paris. All of these hot ladies and their sexy lingerie are going round the world. They're gonna walk in underwear in a new country. Good for you, ladies. And you know, I think in a parallel life, I'm a Victoria's Secret model, right, you guys, right? All right, well, probably not. Give us a subscribe, a follow, a share, a like, all of those things on our YouTube channel, which you're watching right now, to keep up with Stream On and more at the Stream TV. <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat. You guys probably heard about this. One of the biggest mergers in history happened yesterday. AT&T bought Time Warner, and now they own the world! AT&T CEO Randall Stevenson is over the moon to collect Time Warner's premium content like that of HBO and CNN and Warner Brothers. And my guess is no one over at Time Warner is mad either at the $85.4 billion deal. Holy bejesus, you guys. I can only dream of money like that. Well, yesterday, as Jocelyn was talking about, oh, Drake, yesterday was actually Drake's birthday. And lucky for us, yeah, love that jam. The folks at iHeartRadio shared 30 things that you need to know about Drake. I'm gonna spare you all of the dirty details, but here are a few of my picks. That Drake's middle name is really Drake. That's his middle name. <laughs> and he's actually written songs for the likes of Rita Ora, Jamie Foxx, Alicia Keys. When he started his career, he set a goal to make $25 million by the age of 25, and he did it. Fuck me. And he makes his own whiskey. So what I'm wondering is, can I have him? Just kidding, you made fun of Kid Cudi. I don't like you anymore, Drake. Well, next question for you guys is, would you spend $20,000 on a Pokemon watch? Well, me hopes not. For, for all of you millionaire Pokemon players out there, now you finally can get a luxury watch by watchmaker Romain Jerome. Uh, the best part is that this is a titanium watch, like you guys can see right there. It's a titanium frame with a rubber strap for $20,000. God damn. Let me know if you would purchase this. And here is our last snap story for you that just warms my freaking heart. So coming out of the land of tech is a young man named Nathan Copeland who's now able to feel sensations in his hand for the first time in a decade after losing his arm in a car accident. So now he's got a robotic arm and a chip in his brain, and when he touches stuff, he has feelings. He, he understands what it's like again. I mean, how crazy is that? High five, Nate, because you can do that, because you got a hand. Well, for more snap-tastic deliciousness from the stream, find us over on The Ghost at The Stream TV. Okay, well, Walmart is busy offending people again. They have a new costume out for Halloween, and it's called the Suicide Scar Wound Costume. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So an article published by Parenting Community titled, Hey Walmart, Suicide is Not a Costume, took the retail retailing giant to task for making a joke of suicide, which probably, I don't know, probably is a little bit offensive. So they actually started a petition on change.org that implored Walmart to drop the item from their roster I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Jake, what do the people of Reddit say about this? Uh, 
People have a lot of thoughts on Reddit. We got comments from people like Eshimuda, uh, Greg Doom. I want to highlight this one from uh, Who Stole My Pancake. He says he survived an attempt like this. The makeup is pretty fucking accurate. Also, not offended. I have my own permanent Halloween costume. So <laughs> great to have you with us so you can make these super dark comments on Reddit. <laughs> Oh, this is also amazing that a Dubai man is divorcing his wife after her makeup washes off in the sea. He said that his wife is unrecognizable without makeup, and they went swimming in Mamsar Beach in Dubai when the water washed off her face. And he claims that she was deceiving him into marriage with false looks. Wow, that guy is officially the biggest asshole in the world. And also, you got married, but you've never seen your wife without makeup on? Like, who are you? Or she's one sneaky little bitch, and she's like, oh, girl, I know I do not look good. I'm going to put makeup on while he's sleeping. Uh, I don't really know the backstory behind that, but I love the story in general. And here is our last Reddit story for you, is that a bank has placed 100 lucky pennies across the United States worth $1,000 each. So Ally Bank is encouraging Americans to look for opportunities to save money. And so they put these lucky pennies all over America, and uh, yeah, it's the the great thing is that if you find one of these, it's worth one hundred thousand cents, which is a thousand bucks. So do it up, people. Do it, I say. Go find those. Go find those coins. Well, our last picture for you guys on Reddit is uh, a hysterical candle that you can purchase. It says my stepmom has an interesting candle. My love is like a candle. If you forget me, I will burn your fucking house down. <laughs> I'm going to get that for my boyfriend. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, that's all we have for Reddit for you. But let's uh, let's see what's happening in the extra internet. Right, you guys? Here's what's happening in extra internet land. Yay. Extra World Wide Web mush for your beautiful, malleable brain. Well, here's a cannabis trend alert, and I am down to get married if this is real. According to the Daily Beast, people in Washington, Oregon, Colorado, and Alaska are opting to have weed weddings. So some people are actually deciding to not have bars at their weddings at all, and instead have pot. What? That's amazing. And there's even a company called, uh, it's called Cannabride, that's putting Mary Jane into foods. You can have edibles at your wedding, into flowers in your bouquets. Again, you could have a full-on weed bar. I mean, I think this is just such a beautiful thing. Now all we need are psychedelic ceremonies. Next level, it's your day. Why not dose up? Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in here to Stream On on the Stream.tv. Again, find us everywhere across the board at the Stream TV on all of your favorite social media platforms. We want to hear from you. Comment, engage, have a conversation, get to know me, tell me I'm cute. Thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Stream off.